So, Mag and Ryan, what do you guys want to say to the folks at Arnold? Ah, uh, well, big, big thank you for sure. I mean, uh, we really appreciate just the effort of uh, just that random act of kindness. You know, picking up the doll and making the decision instead of. Uh, just giving it to another kid that they saw, you know, realizing that it probably belonged to somebody and uh, and just going that extra distance, you know, that no one asked them to do and, uh, you know, to try to make it and using the power of social media of today to uh, kind of spread the word and look at that, it reached, you know, five hours away uh, in a different country and then right. we, we stumbled across the article and we're just baffled, like, oh my God, it looks exactly like <laughs> little Addison and then, you know, we clicked on the article, it's on that. Arnold Ferry, and then we're like, look at the time dates. We're like, that, we're, that is definitely that's us. That's yeah. definitely us. We looked at some archive pictures of uh, Addie with little Addison. We took her to uh, Chicago in May, and um, obviously it was her, her big travel buddy in May um, in uh, Chicago. Awesome. Um, well, one last thing, people want to know on Facebook, where did you get the doll? <laughs> oh, you know, we got her at Chapters as a bookstore in Windsor. Okay. Um, we got her there. Oh. I don't know where else you can get the doll. She's one of a kind. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just Addison saw her and liked her one day uh -huh. um, before we were going to Chicago. So we thought, this perfect little travel buddy, we'll get it. Yeah. Actually, when she found, do you remember when she actually found uh, the doll in Chapters? She walked around like the store oh, with the box just the with the doll. box and just would not put it down. And we were like, Addison, we can't get anything this time around. We were just walking yeah. through and then her face was like, she was not going to put it down basically. So. <laughs> 